Hi friends! Welcome back to another video. Yay! <laughs> and I have a little kitchen helper with me today as well. Noah, say hi! Hi! Noah loves helping me in the kitchen, helping me cook and make meals. In this video, I'm gonna share my top three current favorite breakfast recipes with you all. Alright, should we start? Yes? Yes! Alright, so the three things that I'm gonna prepare today is some green pancakes. I'm also going to make an oatmeal and then lastly a tofu scramble. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the green pancakes and for the liquid I'm going to be using some soy milk. Uh, soy milk is usually the milk I prefer to use. Alright, so next up I'm going to add a banana. This is going to help make the pancakes sweeter and more soft as well. Next up I'm gonna add some dates. So this is what I'm gonna be using as a sweetener for these pancakes. So instead of using refined sugar, I'm using dates. It contain a lot more fiber, a lot more nutrients. It's really good for you. Do you like dates, Noah? Try to use a date. Yum! And then I'm gonna be adding some ground flax seeds. Good source of omega-3s. And then for the raising agent, I'm gonna use some baking powder and also a little bit of baking soda. And then we're gonna add the greens. So today I'm choosing to use spinach. I feel like they're really mild in, mild in flavor, so they don't really uh, taste too green. But I also use kale sometimes, and that really, that's really good too. You wanna help me add the greens? Thank you. Yeah, good job. Last one. Good job. So now what I'm gonna do is blend this up. And then once this is blended, it's kind of like a, it has like a smoothie consistency. I'm gonna add the oats in last. All right, should we add the oats? Oh, wee! You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Set. Oh. Go. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Do you want to try it? Okay. Is it good? Alright, so the batter is done, looking good. And now I've heated up my skillet on medium heat. And I've added a little bit of coconut oil just because I don't want it to stick. But I usually just do that once, just a tiny bit, and then I don't have to do it again. But you might have a really good non-stick skillet and you don't have to use any. I'm just gonna use a quarter cup. And then I'm gonna take some pancake batter, add some to the skillet, swish it around a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so the pancakes are done. Check this out, looks amazing. Can't wait to eat these. I always like to top off my pancakes with some fruit, fresh fruits and berries. I don't have any on hand right now. So what I'm gonna do is just add some frozen berries. So I'm gonna add some frozen wild blueberries on top. Ooh. And then I'm gonna add a few strawberries as well. Voila, there you go. And of course I need to test them out. Mmm, so good. Really soft, super healthy, and perfectly, perfectly sweet as well. All right, so let's move on to the next dish, which is oatmeal. So the first thing I'm gonna do for the oatmeal is chop up an apple and a date. You can also use raisins if you don't have dates, but I really like chopped dates in my oatmeal. Just makes it so nice and sweet. And it also limits the amount of sweetener that you need to add on top as well. So uh, when I use uh, fruits in my oatmeal, uh, I don't really need anything on top. Right, so I'm gonna chop up this apple. It's a pretty small apple, but if you make bigger portions, you can just add more. You can also use other fruits uh, like pears or um, like frozen fruit, like frozen berries and stuff like that. Just gonna chop it up into pretty small pieces like this. And the reason I'm doing this first is because I'm gonna cook this by itself for a little bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. That way the apples will be really nice and soft. And that's really important, especially when I'm making it for Noah as well, because hard apples can be a choking hazard and you don't want that. So yeah, it's so many different variations of making oats. You can use different type of oats as well. Lately I've been liking the big um, old fashioned oats. Just gonna add this in there, stir it around. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this, just so it doesn't stick to the pot. And I'm also gonna add the spices now. So what I'm gonna using, be using today is some ginger. So I'm not measuring this, I'm just adding a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some cinnamon. That's like the standard 
oatmeal spice, right? I'm gonna stir this around. And then I'm gonna put this on the stove and then let it simmer for maybe about five minutes. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Seems like it's starting to get soft. So I think I'm just gonna add the rest of the ingredients now. So I'm gonna be adding some oats. And then I'm gonna be using some soy milk again. And for the soy milk, I never measure how much I use. I just cover everything. Then I just let it cook for a while. And then you can also add like less or more depending on how you like the consistency of your oatmeal. If you like it to be uh, runny or if you like it to be very thick. So I'm just gonna stir this and then I'm gonna let it simmer for a few more minutes and then I'm gonna stir occasionally. Right, so while the oatmeal is cooking, I'm just gonna add some banana to my bowl. So slice it into small pieces. So I'm gonna do about half a banana. I'm gonna add the hemp seeds, so this is I think one tablespoon and then just stir it around and I'm gonna add the oatmeal on top. Right, so the oatmeal is done. I'm just gonna add a little bit to Noah's bowl and then I'm gonna add the rest to my bowl here. Oh, I can't wait to eat all of these foods. I'm getting super hungry just like making them, not eating them. I'm gonna stir this around then I get the, all the bananas mixed in there as well and then I'm going to Top it off with some frozen blueberries, super good for you. Very, very rich in antioxidants. And then also a little bit of almond butter. So there you go, delicious warming bowl of oatmeal. Perfect when it's cold weather outside, which it currently is here in Spain. It's been raining and cold the last few days. Let's move on to the last meal, which has been one of me and John's favorites lately. It's tofu scramble. So let's start chopping. So I'm gonna start off by peeling and chopping some onion and garlic. Onion and garlic gives everything a nice flavor. It's very good for you, very healthy. So I'm gonna chop this up, just into small, small squares. Who else cries when they chop onions? Oh, always happens to me. Wow, this was a really strong onion. Then I'm also going to be using two cloves or garlic because garlic is delicious and gives it a nice flavor and also gives you amazing breath if you didn't know that as well. Chop that into very tiny bits. So I think this is just gonna turn into like a sobbing video. I'm just crying and now my nose is starting to run as well. All right, so I'm done chopping the onion. I'm just gonna add it straight to the skillet here. And then I'm just gonna put that on the oven on like medium heat with a little bit of water. Let it cook for a few minutes while I chop the rest of the vegetables. Next, I'm gonna chop up some red pepper. It's an amazing source of vitamin C. I also think it tastes really nice and goes really well in the tofu scramble. So for this like recipe, you can actually just add whatever veggies that you prefer or even no veggies at all if you don't want any. I actually do prefer to eat the peppers raw rather than cooked. Like I've never really enjoyed peppers too much on, um, for example, pizzas. But in soups and stews and in tofu scramble, I think it's, it's fine. Right, so there you go. That's a small red pepper right there. And then I'm also gonna be chopping up a tomato. I feel like the tomato gives the whole tofu scramble a little bit more, makes it a bit more um, juicy, which is always nice. You don't want a dry tofu scramble. That's not very good. Done chopping off the veggies. Now I'm gonna add this to the skillet with the onion and garlic. Right, so as you can see here, the onion and garlic started to soften a bit. And what I've done is just cook it with a little bit of water, like I told you before. And we usually prefer to use water in our cooking uh, whenever we make meals at home. Right, let's add the peppers and the tomatoes. Then I'm also gonna be adding like a huge, like a big handful of chopped up kale. I washed and chopped this all yesterday, so I had it ready in my fridge. I'm gonna add this to that as well. And I'm just gonna let this cook for a few minutes before I add the tofu. So this tofu scramble is really high in vegetables and I really like to add just a bunch of veggies to my meals and then it just ensures me to get all those veggies that I need every day in a meal such as tofu scramble. So it just makes it a lot more colorful, a lot more tasty, and it's a good way of getting your veggies in. For this recipe today, I'm gonna to use two blocks or one and a half block of tofu. This is regular tofu, and then we had half a block of smoked tofu that was left over in the fridge, so I'm just gonna use that as well. So I'm just gonna 
use my hands, use clean hands and then just crumble this up into the pan. So this is definitely a perfect like meal if you're craving something savory. Um, it's also really healthy, has loads of vitamins and minerals. It's a great source of protein from the tofu. Tofu is also high in calcium. And then you also have kale, which is high in calcium. So I'm using firm tofu for this. I know a lot of people also use uh, a mix of uh, firm tofu and silken tofu to make their tofu scramble. And it will be more of like a eggy, like, scramble like uh, scrambled eggs consistency uh, I haven't tried it with that before but what I'm doing though is um, using firm tofu and then instead of using water as the liquid I like to use soy milk makes it more creamy and just so good so I'm gonna stir this around I'm gonna add a little bit of soy milk this is just plain unsweetened soy milk that's what I've been using for all of the recipes today stir it around and then I'm gonna be adding the spices and spices are key to make this uh, meal taste good because tofu is pretty plain and it doesn't really taste like that much and it's not very delicious on its own but when you add the spices that's what's gonna make it all delicious right so what I'm gonna be using is this salt called Kala Namak and it's actually a black salt and it's supposed to give tofu scramble more of like an eggy Eggy flavor, half a teaspoon of this salt, and then I'm gonna be using some turmeric, great anti inflammatory, also gives this uh, yellow color. So I'm gonna be using about half a teaspoon of that as well. You don't want too much of the turmeric because I think it gives it like it just tastes like turmeric that way, and I don't want my tofu scrabble to taste like turmeric. I'm gonna add some black pepper really important to have some black pepper with your turmeric to help it absorb and then I'm also going to be adding dill so I find this is super tasty in tofu scramble like dill leaves it's just so good it gives it a nice flavor I'm gonna give this a good stir and then I always like add more spices as I go if I think it needs more so I just start off with a little bit and then I can always add more so that's always a good thing to do when you cook Add a little bit at a time and then you can always add more. If you suddenly like add too much from the start, you can't really take it back. <laughs> mm, this is starting to look and smell amazing. And this is a big portion of tofu scramble. So this is gonna be enough for at least two people, I would say. Like John and I would share this and it would be like a good sized meal for the both of us. Add a little bit more soy milk. All right, so this is looking done. Super juicy moist guys one thing i almost forgot which is actually a key ingredient to lemon so what i like to do this is a bit hard i'm like i didn't have a very ripe lemon right now so i'm just gonna roll it out to try to get the juice out of it i'm gonna use about half of a lemon and then just add it in at the end squeeze 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 so the lemon just helps enhance all the flavor it's also an extra boost of vitamin C, which helps you absorb iron better. And it's just like, yeah, it gives it this like nice last little kick of this meal. <laughs> the tofu scramble is done. I'm gonna add this to a bowl and then we're done. I served it with some chopped up oranges. I think that's really nice. I like to have it with something fresh. Uh, and what I also like to have it with is a chopped up avocado on top. But these avocados are rock hard so I have to wait a few more days before I can use this so that's it these are all the meals the pancakes the oatmeal the tofu scramble also looks delicious smells delicious I'm so excited to eat I'm really hungry now I've been delaying my breakfast to show you guys all of these recipes and I think that you're really gonna enjoy them you're gonna like them uh, they don't require that many ingredients you can always um, swap some ingredients if you don't have any with something else um, but yeah, I think you're gonna like them and I hope that you try to make them as well. If you do, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the meals, what do you think will be your favorite? The pancakes, the oatmeal or the tofu scramble? I'm not sure which one I would pick. But anyways guys, please leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.